Okay, guys, let's hop into this video. Today, we got Pokemon Shining Pearl. I've been so pumped to play this game, man, for like the past month and a half. And, uh, you know, I thought when I first loaded this game up, it was going to put me onto a uh, like a loading or a menu screen, main menu screen, but uh, it's throwing me right into the game, I guess. So let's just get straight into it. We got an unknown player here that says, Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Oh, Professor. What is it, like 15 years later? Still looking good? Still looks good? I mean... Good good for Professor, Professor Rowan. He's still looking good. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Oh, well, Munchlax. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Well, Professor Rowan, uh, oh, I get a few different uh, characters to choose from here. So I'm thinking this guy looks the closest like me. I feel like that's the most generic one everyone's probably going to choose. But, uh. Rhino. Your name is Rhino? Well, of course. Okay, so you're Rhino. Yes. A fine name that is. Well, thank you, Professor. Whoa. Now this boy here, I believe he's your friend. Wait, what might his name be? You got the generic Clint, Ralph, Lewis, Tommy. Or I can make a new one. And I gotta go back to back to the roots, right? Micah, he's my friend. Micah, is it? That's your friend's name? Why yes. Alright, right now the time has come. Your very own tale of a great adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way you'll discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Ooh, okay. Now go on a leap into the world of Pokemon. Here we go. It's taking me way back. Oh, the screen. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored red Gyarados fell to appear even fleetingly to the Crestfallen team. Oh, cool, cool, cool. That concludes our special report, Search for the Red Gyarados, brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. Got my little Switch over there. Let's see if we can play it. It's the latest game console, a Nintendo Switch. But not the OLED. Can I miss? Not the latest. You check the PC. Pokemon Basics. People live alongside Pokemon in this world. The people that battle Pokemon are called Pokemon Trainers. Huh, who would have thought? TV's turned off. Can I read this book here? Wow. What is this? The X button opens the menu. Cool, cool, cool. Can't set the clock. Wait, I don't think it was this Pokemon that did that. Oh, here's my mom. Rhino, Maka came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. Ooh, wonder what it could be. Oh, yes, Rhino, don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. I don't sound safe. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so. Oh. Shamo Pokemon. Did I just yawn? Oh wait, no. I guess I'll just battle. Oh, it's so cool. Who's this guy? Technology just blows me away. I mean, now you can play with people around the world wirelessly. Isn't that a crazy guy? Ah, uh, I already know it, but I'm just gonna check it. Micah's house. Let's go inside, see what he's up to. Oh, thud. Oh. 
What was that about? Oh, hey, Rhino. I'm going to the lake. You should come too and be quick about it. Okay, Rhino, I'm finding you one million if you're late. Where are you going? Oh, wait. He forgot something. Oh, geez, forgot something. <laughs> I know, Mike. I like the back of my hand. Oh, look. Oh, thought it was a note, but it wasn't. Let's, uh, let's see what Maka's mom doing. Oh, hi, Rhino. Are you looking for Maka? He was gone for a second, but then he came running right back home. He just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who he, who he takes after. I don't know. I better take my bag and my guidebook, too. Oh. Oh, hey, Rhino. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a $10 million fine if you're late. Or, I guess, poke money. Not really dollars. I should call them dollars. This is way easier. Can we hack into his PC? Adventure rule number one, the X button opens the menu. Oh, wow. Adventure rule number two, record your progress was saved. There is nothing else on here. He's going to switch too. It's the latest game content to switch. Pokemon where smiling faces gather. Oh. Is that a cell phone? The Pokemon Center, always by your side. Ooh. Can we run yet? No, okay. Need the running shoes, I guess. Hi, yeah, Rhino. You're looking for Micah? He just went tearing off a little while ago. He's probably not gone too far. Why not go chase after? You know what? I think I'll do that. There he is. Oh, it's a little late. I hope he really doesn't find me. Hey, you saw that news report that was on TV, right? You know, Search for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in a lake? It's a long title. That show got me to thinking. I'll bet our local lake has Pokemon, has a Pokemon like that in it too. So that's what we're going to do. We'll go find a Pokemon like that. Well, let's go do it then. Come on, Micah. Uh, hope we don't run into any wild Pokemon. All right, to the lake. Let's find us a red Gyarados. Man, what are we going to do if we find it, though? What's going on? Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side, either. Hmm, I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but... Fine. It's enough that we have seen the lake. Dom, we're leaving. Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sino after being away for four years? It must be exciting again. Hmm, there is one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sino. The region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. Four years? What was he doing for four years? Excuse me, let us pass, please. Okay, okay. I beg your pardon. We'll be on our way. At least she was polite. What was that about, those two? I don't really know, man. Huh? Righto, let's go check this out. Da-da-dot, da da dot. What's that? Don't go to the tall grass? No problem, no problem. We won't be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. Well, he sure does sound confident. It's a briefcase. Those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We could try to return it, but who were they? I heard them say Professor. You, Maki, you told us. There would be no Pokemon. Wow, P Pokemon. That's not Mario. What's going on? We're being attacked, Micah. This is all your fault. Here we go. Choosing the starter. Wait, so I'm getting this one's gotta be Chimchar, right? The middle one. Chimchar? I don't I think this was Turtwig? Yeah. Did we go Turtwig? Look at this guy. Turtwig? Did we go Chimchar? Or Piplup? Ah. I just, so Turtwig evolves to Torterra at the end and he's grass and ground. Learns Earthquake, pretty solid move. Chimchar evolves to Infernape, Fighting and Fire type. Uh, learns, I think it's like the best move he learns is Close Combat. Yeah, I think he learned, ends up learning Fire Blast maybe or Flamethrower. Anyways, pretty powerful. Uh, 
or Hiplop. Uh, really, Empoleon, that's water and steel. I don't know really the best move. But you know what? I think we're going to have to go with Chimchar, right? That's just uh, my favorite from Pearl. One I pretty much always chose. We'll go Chimchar. Our first battle with the wild Pokemon. Ooh, it's a Starly. Go Chimchar. He looks happy. Uh, we're just going to scratch him out. Okay. Chimchar is scratch again. The wild starly that used tackle. Chimchar, you scratch again. I wish we could catch the starly. That would be uh, perfect. A wild starly fainted. Your Pokemon gained experience points. Wow, your Chimchar totally rocked, but my Piplup was way tougher than yours. They were other people's Pokemon, but we had to use them. Those people won't mind, will they? Oh no, we're caught. Oh, there's the briefcase. The professor would have been furious if I lost it. Huh? Oh no. Did did you use the Pokemon that were in here? You did? Oh my gosh. What's the professor going to say? This is so not good. I'll take this briefcase for now. She would have rather us been attacked by Pokemon than us use the Pokemon in the briefcase. What was that about? I don't know what's going on right now. Let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. Yeah, thanks for, uh, you know, staying in the grass long enough for Pokemon to attack us. Jeez, man. You go ahead. I know we have to go return these Pokemon. They're not ours, but I want to spend just a little more time with this little guy. Yeah, he's following me, though. Uh-oh. Hey, it's those people. Is, is that old guy staring at us? Hmm, I heard from Dawn that you use our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Hmm, Chimchar and Piplup. Hmm, I see, that's how- Why did I say hmm a lot? Dawn, I'm going back to my lab. Um, oh, okay, Professor, please wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, see ya. You know what I just noticed? I don't have my, uh, the hat. Huh. I mean, if he was, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And didn't he want his Pokemon back? Rhino, we should go home too. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both you and Maka are unharmed? The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sanjum Town. I've heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he's also quite intimidating. Rhino, I think you need to visit him in Sanjum Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he will understand. I sure hope so. Oh, I know, Rhino. Put these on. I received a pair of running shoes. Mom, thank you so much. Going to Sanjum Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. Tilt the left stick firmly and dash about faster than ever before. Put on the running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure. Well, isn't that just nifty? Sure is, Mom. All right, so we're off to Sandjum Town, it sounds like. Do I need to... I think I just go straight there, right? Yeah, let's just... I thought I had to stop at Micah's house. Do I not get the nickname on little Chimchar? I like the the new the new graphics are cool. Let's, uh, let's see, can I fight this guy? That ledge is one way. Jump down for a shortcut to Twin Leaf Town. Okay, yeah. We don't get a battle any Pokemon. Oh, here we go. It's another Starly. 
Should I fight him? Yeah, let's just do it. You know what? Chimchar, you scratch. Growl. Ooh. Um. You scratch again? I really wish we catch a Starly. I'm trying to think of which Pokemon I'm going to use. I'm pretty sure Starly is going to be one of them. Like, I mean, you have to, right? Just a classic. We're halfway to level six. That's good. I don't know if we battle Micah here. Not. I hope not because. Not held up all the way. Oh, here's Dawn. Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. This is it. Our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. Oh, God. He's always running into me. Thud. What? The? Oh, it's you, Rhino. That old guy. He's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Oh, it doesn't matter, Rhino. I'm out of here. See you later. Wow, what was that? Your friends sure seem to be really impatient. Well, anyways, let's go inside. Don't mind if I do. Oh, there's Professor Ron. Bobbing his head. Finally, you've come. Rhino, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. Don't take him away from me. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then. I'll give that chip chart to you as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? I sure would, Professor Rohan. What should I call him? Uh. Okay, okay. I've decided to go with Bubbles for all the uh, Dragon Ball Z fans out there. If I could spell. Um, also, kind of a play on the whole uh, Chimchar being a fire type. All that, so. I am. I am happy with the bubbles. Your friend Maka told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well, despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there was a growing bond between you and that Pokemon. Though it is still young. That's why I would like to entrust you with Chimchar. Well, thank you, Professor. I'm so glad that you're kind toward Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to... Oh, I just can't say it. Okay, you don't have to. Ahem. Let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. What's that, Profess? My name is Rowan. Oh, sorry. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sano region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sano for me? Well, I sure will, Professor. Hmm, good answer. All right. I obtained the Pokedex. The Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Sweet. Sounds pretty nifty. Rhino, I'll ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I'll do just that, Professor. I've got one, too. When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? Uh, I don't know. I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Sounds like a good time. Now go. Rhino, your grand adventure begins right now. The Pokemon that I used for the first time was Turtwig. If you would have chosen Turtwig at the lake, we'd have the same Pokemon now. Not that it matters, but... Anyways, I'm Don. I also helped the professor and pages... Professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Rhino. Well, it's good to meet you too, Don. You know what? You seem like a nice person. Okay, Rhino, I'll give your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as a professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. I think I got no choice. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's a place that heals Pokemon that have been in hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. <laughs> Sweet. This is useful information. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemon. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items of medicine. Rhino, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. It won't. Oh, that's right, Rhino. Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to help? You're going to be helping Professor Roman with the Pokedex? 
You may need to travel pretty far. So I think you should let someone know. Okay. Oh, but before you go, heal up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It will be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now. Thank you, Don, for the information. I will be seeing you, I'm assuming. Well, actually, I know, but I'm just going to pretend like I haven't played Pokemon Pro before. Hello, welcome to Pokemon Center. We were still talking about Pokemon. Okay, yeah, we, we know this. Yep, we're going to rest our Pokemon. She's going to take my Pokemon for a few seconds. There's Chimchar up on the screen. Or Bubbles, actually. I got to start calling Bubbles. We hope to see you again. I'm sure you will. If not, that'll be very... Maybe not the same one, but... And we're going back home. We're going to let our mom know we're going on an adventure. Okay, we're back home. Here we go. Mom, mom, mom. Welcome home, Rhino. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest, dear. Gotta take a little quick nap. What's up, Rhino? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? Okay. Dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know. Rhino, I've got something that you'll find useful. I obtained the guidebook. Awesome. Thanks, Mom. Put the guidebook in your bag's key items pocket. That's a guidebook. Take a look at it when you are curious about something or have questions. During your adventure, you may find an answer. G. A journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. Yeah, Mom, wish you could go with me. I'm just joking, Rhino. Oh, thank God. I'll be alright by myself, dear. So you go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. Aw. But please come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. I'll try to come back, Mom. I guess that was information on the guidebook. Oh, it's Micah's mom. Excuse me, is my little Micah here? Oh, no he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless, I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry. Rhino will deliver that to him. Mom, why are you just... <sighs> why? Uh, what, what if I don't want to take that to him? Won't you, Rhino? <sighs> I mean, I can't say no now, right? Like, I have to. That's just unfortunate. Oh, really? You do that for me? I know, please take this to Micah for me. I guess, I guess. What's in it for me, though? I obtained the parcel. You put the parcel in your bag's key items pocket. Bye-bye, Rhino. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. No, my boy, he would probably head straight to Jubilof City. Okay, please take that to my Micah. Oh, Rhino, you're forgetting something important. Yes, that hat always did suit you. There's my hat. Now off you go. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the first part there. Um, so all we get done so far, we just basically just chose our name, picked the starter Pokemon, chose the nickname for him, and we obtained the Pokedex. And now we're about to start the adventure. Uh, I'm so pumped to uh, play this game. I've been excited to play it for a while now. And I can't wait to beat this game. Can't wait to catch all the Pokemon. Can't wait to see what all they've added. Anything new. All the old stuff they've added like kind of uh, built on. I think it's going to be an awesome experience. And I hope you guys enjoyed the first part here. But yeah, that's about it for the first episode. I'll check you on the next one.